And so I guess um, what always what was always on my mind, you know, since we met in those very early days, what actually did inspire you to choose that route and and to to begin network marketing? I've had two major business awakenings, if you can call it. So the first one was into network marketing. And the second one was to creating our own, our own brand some years later. So if you don't mind, I'll talk about both of those. Yeah. But if we can trace it back to when I was an employee, because when I went, when I met you, mm -hmm. I was firmly in nonprofit. I wasn't, I wasn't only not a business owner, I was in nonprofit. So profit was was <laughs> profit was anathema at that time uh, because I had come from an entrepreneurial family. So we've talked about my dad before you and I, my, my dad is a business owner. He owns a traditional business and it's a music school. So for years as a child, every Friday of my entire childhood, my mom would take the day off, off of being a mom. Now that I have three kids, I think of like, how can I do this with my own family? Take every Friday off. But she would go and now today we would call it self-care. Mm -hmm. My mom just said, it's Friday. That was her, her code word for self-care. She would go and who knows what she did. She'd go shopping or see her friends or go to church or do, do the things that were, the, the things that were healing for her. And my dad was, you know, typical of that generation said, I don't know what to do with these kids. I'll bring them to work. And so he brought us to work. Every Friday of my entire childhood, I spent running around a music school, wreaking havoc, playing hide and seek in the inventory room, learning from everybody there. And of course, you know, when I was eight or nine, my dad put me to work printing envelopes. And then when I was 13 and 14, he had me knocking on doors, prospecting. And then when I was 15 or 16, I was bookkeeping. And then even, even today, I still assist him a little bit. I go in there and I help on the management administrative marketing side of things. So I had this advantage of seeing every way a small business could work. Mm -hmm. However, with traditional business, what I saw was also the headache side. Mm -hmm. It was the complication of the rent and the inventory and the employees and how, how incredibly stressful owning a traditional business can be. Right. Just 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 going through an audit in that place <laughs> was was enough to drive my dad's stress level through the roof. But I really saw, you know, he didn't need to commute a long way. He could create his own hours. He could take vacations with the family. He could be present when he needed to. And I really internalized that. So around the time that my husband and I started having kids, I had I had just stopped working in order to become a mom. But in the work I had done when you first met me, it was all about leadership. So I, I, I led a staff. I did a lot of volunteer work with community leadership and I was a curriculum developer. So I would take these organizational messages that were very boring. They talk about science. They talk about outcomes. No one wanted to hear that, but they would trust me to spin it into gold and create these emotionally compelling stories and all this kind of thing. And so I thought, I really have this, this gift. I have this talent set, but I was being paid pennies. I was making this huge impact, but I was not being compensated adequately. And at the time, I didn't care. I thought, my heart is here. I'm happy doing my work. I'm fine. I was fancy free until we had children. And I suddenly realized I couldn't, I couldn't pay for them. Like I couldn't, you know, I could not afford to go back to work and put my little boy into daycare. I, I just wasn't being compensated enough to trade that time with him. Mm -hmm. And I thought we need to do something different. So around the time our second child was born, uh, Andy was experiencing the same thing. He was also, he was working in the university system. And we thought, is it enough? Is it enough to have that impact if you're not being compensated? And you look at these beautiful little people in your life and you think, no, I need to show them that I can create a life for myself that demonstrates that integrity and that demonstrates that passion, but that can also, that, that can serve and that can also provide a, an income for them that allows them to have the best opportunities possible. And that wasn't going to happen on our little educator salaries. So that's when we turned to business. Mm -hmm. And the reason we turned to network marketing is because that's the type of business that fell in our lap. And a lot of people, if you don't know what network marketing is, for those of you who may be watching, network marketing is a business in which there's a product or a service 
that generally someone introduces you to. So you've seen it before. It's, it's a, you know, Avon representative or it might be Arbonne or it might be Pampered Chef or it might be, sometimes it's, it's uh, electricity services through ACN, financial services through Primerica. But the idea is that this company has a product or service and instead of marketing it the traditional way and spending millions of dollars on advertising, they don't pay those advertising costs. They just pay human beings like you and me to distribute them. And so when, when you love a product and you share it with people, if they end up buying it, you're compensated for that. And so the idea is to create a pre-packaged business and give it to someone at a very low cost. So if you've been introduced to network marketing, it's usually, you know, someone has invited you to their home or to a coffee shop and they draw little circles on a, on a paper for you and they show you <laughs> how this business could work. But it's a very low barrier to entry. So for us, we didn't have savings. I couldn't invest in a franchise. I couldn't go to McDonald's and buy up a, something like that. And starting a business from scratch often costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. But a network marketing business, you can get started for 500 bucks. And so just financially, that's where we were. So someone offered us some uh, health food product and I had some great results with it. And I thought, oh, this is the thing we've been looking for. So we ran with it. And what I, what I, what I really saw right away with network marketing, not a lot of people see it, is that there is tremendous leverage if you do it properly. So the way I saw my dad with his, with his business, if he wanted more students in the music school, he needed more stuff, right? So if he wanted more students, he, had more, he needed to have more instruments to teach them. If he ran out of, um, of available time slots, he'd need to hire extra teachers. So the more students he had, he, he would just hit the ceiling. He'd be capped. And there's a certain level at which your growth was capped. But with network marketing, if you develop a team, it, it begins to grow outside of you. You know, you're limited only by your own leadership. And I liked that leverage piece very much. So that's what attracted me to network marketing at first.